Master Machado, could you talk for a bit about how you met uh, William Vondre and uh, just the initial training and the community that he's built here and the relationship between you guys? Six to be more exact, that's when we had our like an informal, informal meeting at a seminar. <laughs> and then from that point on, 95. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah, that's right. October '95, we had the seminar in Austin, and um, I was scheduled to start my teaching at uh, former studio of uh, Chuck Norris's Walker, Texas Ranger TV show. And uh, I remember William would go there. Uh, once, twice a week, and he would go and do private, do group, group sessions, usually on a Tuesday, uh, group sessions, uh, and then have privates in the afternoon, and sometimes even double up, you know, but he, he was living in Killeen at the time, you know, and then, uh, he, excuse me, uh, you know, I had some things that he did that were kind of unique, you know, because he couldn't see me as often as some of the other students. He would, uh, besides the notes, draw, you know, pictures mm -hmm. of the techniques in the, in the notebook. And he had some pretty good talent because it seemed like a comic book, sort of, <laughs> with all the sequences. You know, so I figured, well, this guy, he's not fooling around. He spends time thinking over about the things that he learned and tries mm -hmm. to develop. So he had that inquisitive nature to, you know, develop his game since then. And, uh, you know, he, he developed a taste for leg locks. Uh, from an early start, you know, by the time he was a blue belt, I remember one time teaching him a lesson, uh, private, and he went for a, a, a leg bar, and then all of a sudden, like, man, I'm stuck in his leg bar, so I couldn't shake it off, so I got him back into the leg bar, so he was like, a, we're on a stalemate, you know, like two dogs bite each other at the same time, sort of, uh, and but, but basically, I think his creativity, his ingenuity, uh, we're of assistance. Uh, at the times that, at one point in time, with everything that happened in his life, you know, in the years that passed, he was able to sustain a great degree of progress, uh, not just with his existing skills from what he learned from me, but his ability to pass that on to his students. He became an awesome instructor. And also his ability as a disciple of the art. Because a lot of times instructors, they resign to instructing and they don't have any more ambition to go any further than teach whatever it is they learn. They don't expand. And I feel that in his case, he's always interested. He, he did a book on languages, you know, that was very informative. And I, I learned uh, techniques from that book that I hadn't seen uh, explained the way it was, and I hadn't seen the way it was in any other book. And uh, that showed, so I kind of gave him a nickname, The Creation, you know, because when you become like, kind of like he mutated some of the games that I taught him. For instance, I do a butterfly flip to go for the mouth to submit the guy or to set up a triangle. He goes for a butterfly to set up a leg bar. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of uh, observed that we always have a lot of fun when we practice because when we do, it's not an ego thing, one trying to get the other. It's one trying to study, study the other. So uh, six months ago or a year ago when I trained with him, he came with some moves and tried some moves with me and got my legs stuck in a skirt grip and other stuff. So today when we practiced, I, he noticed that I, I was not the same. I was already aware of that situation and I tried, tried to, to shut it down. And then, of course, that gave him food for thought. So now he's already... So it's, it's a very uh, conducive relationship, not just the fact that he develops a work that I believe he's doing a great, awesome work by building a, a spirit of community among his students, you know, because a lot of times people come and go, but when you have that spirit surrounding, you know, your sphere environment, people stay, you know, and it's no joke that whenever we decide to have a, a quarterly meeting over here, that uh, William can bring all his students and they're all as enthusiastic as if it was the first day they ever stepped on the mat, you know. So that tells about not just his skill level, but I think his position as a role model and somebody that motivates people to stick with it, you know. And, uh, and we had a conversation.